market. With that, Michelin is releasing a set of tires to the consumer marketplace that is going to be considered the first to market consumer tire that is airless. Now, these are called the Michelin Uptus. And if you're familiar with Bibendum from the old days, these are not bias ply tires. They're not even radials. These are something completely and totally different. They are true airless tires with a resin core that is really unique. Now, currently, we got two articles linked in here. There's also the airless tire market that we're trying to see a little bit more information on. So before we even go into the advantages right now, the airless tire market is considered to be $34.2 million currently. That was in 2019 numbers. They expect between 2020 and 2026 a 5.5% growth in that area. Now, some of the basic things that these tires present to the road going public, which is kind of phenomenal, is no more tire pressure, no more blowouts. It's called the Michelin Uptus, but then they've got even some better features that are going to be baked into these things that are really, really, I guess, more exciting for the EV markets and the savings in actual, the last part that I'm talking about before I kick it over to Tori is that they've got lower road, road rolling resistance. So they're actually going to be more efficient. And with that said, Corey, before we go into some of the other ones, what's your thoughts? Yeah, so um, first glance looking at these, if you haven't seen these kind of tires, this tire design before, it may be like, wow, this is so like crazy. I've never seen this before. And I was telling Mike just before the show started, that it's something to just take note that this is, I don't want to say they're not new, but it's new in this yes. space, right? Because actually uh, military has been looking at airless tires, using them for a long time. Uh, if you look at some of the uh, applications of like construction, you may have seen like front end, front end loaders, forklifts. There's a lot of tires that are this kind of you know airless design that would look somewhat familiar yep. to this. And of course, um, some you know the basic design, the idea of having an airless tire that kind of, that also goes to outer space. You know, May, maybe it wasn't rubber and different materials, but the idea that there's a airless tire with just you know supported by some structure in the middle, but no like gas in the tire. That's not new for space travel nope. too either. So. Um, but it, it's, it's exciting to see them coming to maybe the public space again, for all the reasons you mentioned. Well, there's even more though. There's um, less vibration, right? Which means less noise. There's, there's uh, better load bearing, right? So it's enhanced on its load bearing, superior flexibility, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Cause you and I had a, had a conversation yep. about that completely. And yep. so again, and then there's no blowouts, no tire pressures again. So no, no tire jacks, right? Uh, what happens if you hit a pothole? Is it more resistant to potholes? It's it's got so many other benefits there, but we'll take we'll take the conversation to one more the load bearing and the superior flexibility. I wonder about the performance, right? It's great that it's in an industrial yep. application, but is there a V rated version of this tire that you and I would be cruising on some say track day at 130 miles an hour? I don't know. Yeah, the exact the exact thing that Mike's hinting at is something Mike and I were literally I asked him a question and I could see he was thinking the exact same thing at the same time. I was thinking, hey Mike, like this seem everything seems great here, but exactly if we put it on some like performance car and we're taking a turn at a significant speed, what about lateral mm -hmm. loads on this right. tire? How does that? Um, I, I just want to mm -hmm. want to understand more about how these these designs, at least in Michelin's case, how they're expecting to handle lateral loads. Will there be, you know, some kind of hard fast speed limit? You know, where they really they let people know, okay, you know, there there's already speed rated tires, as Mike said, different different speeds for different tires mm -hmm. now. Uh, but are they going to say, okay, here's your Michelin up this. Yeah, enjoy these. But remember, you can't go over 130 or you can't go around and turn it over 65 or who knows what it is, because I don't know. There's some there's something I don't know. I, you know what I mean? I'm just curious about some some things like that. So, so now here's some other questions that were raised by yeah. the one the article on CNET, which is basically a couple of questions here, which will what will they weigh? How will they drive? Are they quiet? Will they be compatible with your current wheels mm -hmm. and rims? Uh, how will they be with ABS systems and stability systems? How would they shed snow and water, especially if the sides get mm -hmm. impacted with ice? And what will they cost? So those are some of the things that the marketplace is going to have to figure out. With the estimate, I'm thinking also other stuff. No, too. no, oh, and with sorry, the estimation of the market growing at 11.4 million dollars over the next five years, probably a a good place to start because this could hamper growth with the early adapters and especially those who purchase EVs that might be included with these as original equipment. But go on. What was your next point? Last thing I was thinking of uh, was uh, different terrain, right? You drive this thing on the road, great, fine, everything's good. You start driving over like muddy terrain, uh, sand, Ooh. dirt, and some of that gets in this tire, you're gonna have instantaneous imbalance. Like, it's gonna be out of balance. Instantaneous, right? it's gonna be out of balance. 
And then what? You got to like stop the car and spray it out with a hose. Like you got to get the, you got to clean it out. You got to clean it out. One other so, major disadvantage. Um, what if you want to go into snowy conditions? There's some. There's some maintenance well, forget about there. that. You just brought um, up one thing that popped in my mind. What about if you want to take pressure out of your tires to go to the track, or you want to take pressure out of the tires to go over different terrain to try to make this more adaptable for different terrain? Guess what? Now you're in a different boat. Not a thing. Ooh, big disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a thing. So. There, there's some some new things to think about, new ways that we we need to evaluate the use case for these. But yeah, I'm still quite quite intrigued by it. But we need uh, some of these outlying these outlying things they wouldn't even have a second thought about. You know, oh, it's the roads the roads it's a bad road now. Now there's dirt. Oh, it's raining now. There's mud. Oh, well, I have these tires now. It's a different no, story. No, no, that's now. even better. Or you know, the other thing is remember in the world of EVs where weight is everything. How about not having not to carry around a spare? That's another thing. Okay, that could be in some cases about 25 extra pounds inside your vehicle. And the other part of it is, uh, you know, if you have this tire installed, what about the weight on the actual wheel? Like how much is this on each part of the suspension? Because that makes a huge difference in how your suspension reacts to the road is how much the wheels actually weigh. So let's so let's see how much it is. Hey, folks, let it. Well, yeah, interesting enough. But uh, you let me we done or you want to? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Let I'm us know good. what you guys think these would cost and what you would pay for them for your vehicle and if you would even be interested in the comments below because it'd be interesting for us to know what the average consumer out there thinks about uh, airless tires and the, the Upto system from Michelin. Let us know in the comments below. We'd be real interested to hear from you. Okie doke. Yep. One, one comment there if you want to take uh, it. Would they work with all-wheel drive? I would imagine they're going to work with, with the the basic set of cars that are out there on the road today. I mean, if you couldn't release them to be backwards compatible with just about any vehicle right now, what would be the point of releasing to the marketplace mm -hmm. at all? So I would imagine, but again, that's my imagination. That's not a proven engineer from Michelin's going to tell you what these things are compatible with. You also have to worry about, you know, V speeds, uh, you know, your, your, the sidewall depth make a difference anymore. Can they change the sidewall depth? You I, know, the ride height. Yeah. I, yeah. I wonder about like, you know how you have to, you have to seat traditional tires. You have to mm -hmm. seat them on the wheel, on the on mm -hmm. the actual rim, so that it doesn't move around. What, what uh, I guess what's the adhesion of the inner diameter of this wheel that holds Don't it on know. the wheel, on the on the car wheel, you know, the yeah. tire on the wheel, so that it doesn't have any slip on the actual win, the rim. If you, if you uh, yeah, and then there. lastly, the infrastructure for currently getting tires off of wheels is completely different because it means inserting a piece of metal to the other side of the tire and making it slip the yeah. bead. And can you even use those techniques yep. or are you going to just be a press fit? I would imagine it's going to be some sort of stronger press fit, but, but different. So who knows? Um, you know, yeah. then you're going to have to have know. special places just to get your tires changed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, exactly. Like you said, you get the, 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 uh, the tool inside the inner diameter, which mm -hmm. is rubber and it gives a little, but that's why you can get it off the, wind, yeah, off yeah. the rim. So who knows? Know. Yep. Let us know in the comments below. Interesting. It'd be great to hear from you guys. Yep. All right. Sweet.